crazy God story. When my full-time job used to be fixing cars for broke people for free without ever charging anyone for any work, God always provided all of my needs and my life became unexplainable apart from God. This was my business card. It was full service nonprofit auto repair. On the back, it says affordable auto repair is dedicated to sharing the love of God by offering free auto repair to those in need. While I never charged anyone for anything I did, sometimes when I'd get done fixing someone's vehicle, they'd give me, you know, five or 10 or maybe 20 bucks if I was lucky and call it a donation. At first I wasn't gonna take those, but God was like, it's okay, that's part of the way I'm gonna provide for you. It usually amounted to around like 200 bucks a month. A few months after I started that business, God told me and my wife that she needed to quit her job. It was really scary for us because it was the only stable income we had. However, we decided to take a step of faith and obey God, and so without having any other job lined up, she quit. The next time our rent was due, we only had like half of it and no money coming in. Me and my wife prayed about it, and we felt like God was telling us to write a check. Even though we couldn't cover it, he told us he could. I wouldn't tell people to write a check that they couldn't cover normally, but when God tells you to do something, you gotta obey. So I obeyed God and took a check to my landlord. As I was leaving his house, I got a phone call from a guy who worked at a ranch. They had two vehicles that were broke down that they wanted me to fix. He told me they were gonna pay me like I was a regular shop and they refused to not let me take that money. I made enough from that to cover the check for the rent, pay all my utilities for the month, and stock my fridge and pantry full of groceries. And what blows my mind is the check I wrote my landlord got delayed and didn't hit my bank until after I got paid from that job. The next month, a construction company called me. They had a truck that they wanted me to fix. They offered to pay me half of the $6,000 that Ford was charging them. The following month, my wife got a job as a property manager at an apartment complex. She was required to live on site. So in addition to her regular salary, they gave us a free apartment and paid our water and electricity. I did mobile auto repair out of a beat up car. There was a couple that wanted to bless me, so they bought me a work truck. A guy that ran a pawn shop wanted to help me out, so he sold me tools at his cost, which was like 90% off of retail. While stuff like that happened to me all the time, sometimes God would go above and beyond just to bless me and my family. People gave me free concert tickets and tickets to Schlitterbahn for my family. People paid for my kids to go to summer camp and gave me money for them for Christmas. It wasn't anything extravagant. It was just my heavenly father loving on my family. Now here's the thing, I'm nothing special. I don't have amazing faith. I'm just a regular guy who made a habit of saying yes to God. God will take anybody who says yes to him and lives by faith and turn their life into a crazy God story. If you wanna hear more of my story or learn how to get to a place in your life where living by faith and following Jesus is as natural as breathing, check out this book I wrote. You can download a free PDF copy at crazygodstory.com and also find links there to the print edition.